With Horizon 5 being set to release right around the corner, I thought now would be the perfect time to remind the developers on what we want to see in the next Horizon. This is 10 things we need in Forza Horizon 5. Enjoy the video. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the hymn. I'm not like, whoa, fast lane, it'll fit on pedal to the floor. In my opinion, cars stood out the most at night in Forza Horizon 4, and an awesome feature Forza could add is custom headlight kits from companies such as Oracle. With an addition like this to the game, the possibilities on what you could make your headlight look like is almost endless. This is a feature I'm really hoping we see in Horizon 5, because the game is supposed to be set in Japan, and Japan thrives at night with all the LED and neon lights. Oracle has some really cool designs such as the halo lights and dynamic color shift lights that would make your build just pop at night. With turn signals or indicators being a highly requested feature to see in Horizon 5, this would be a perfect way to tie the two together where you can get a really cool looking headlight as well as indicators. I'm not sure if this feature has been requested a lot, but it's something I would really love to see in Horizon. The paint shop in Horizon 4 is another area where the game really lacked customization and hopefully in Horizon 5 we see an option where we're able to do more than just paint our body panels on our car. The way your car looks is the only way that you can set your car apart from other cars in the game so this is a huge feature that Forza needs to work on to make builds look individual. I hope that we see some features added into Forza Horizon 5 that the community has been asking for forever, like the ability to black out your headlights and taillights as well as change caliper colors. A few features I'd like to see added into Horizon 5 is the ability to change your interior color of your car, and this is something that can drastically change how the car looks, as well as add our own custom tire lettering. For the past few Horizons, we've been stuck with the same Forza Horizon tire lettering where we're not able to change what we can put on the tire. Hopefully in Horizon 5 we see an option where we're able to write what we want to be on the tire. With Horizon 4 lacking some of the most desirable rims such as the Volk TE37s, it left us with very few options to choose from when customizing our car. In Horizon 5, it'd be nice to see more deep dish rims to make stance builds look way nicer, as well as the ability to both mix and match your rims on your car. The way the rims are organized in Forza Horizon 4 is something I really hope changes in Forza Horizon 5. Right now they're organized by style and it can take like 10 minutes to find the certain rim you want. In Horizon 5, I'd love to see it organized by manufacturer or the specific type of rim you're looking for such as deep dish rims to not only save time for us but also make the game easier to use. With almost every build in Forza Horizon 4 looking nearly identical, I thought it'd be a great idea to be able to remove the body panels in Forza Horizon 5 and this would not only make the car look better but also add a weight reduction. I know that a very requested feature in Forza Horizon 4 was the ability to actually see the weight reduction happen in your car, and this would be a great way to visualize the weight reduction happening. But I know that most people don't remove their body panels when they want to reduce the weight of their car because the aerodynamics of the car just become trash. I can see this tying in to player made body kits because you could add or remove what you want to get the desired look for your car. With coilovers currently being the only way to adjust your ride height in Forza Horizon 4, air ride suspension would be an awesome implementation into the game to allow you to customize the height of your car no matter where you are and you wouldn't have to make a trip back to a Horizon festival. With the next Horizon being expected to be set in Japan, I can see stance builds becoming more and more popular and in my opinion, air ride suspension is a crucial component to stance builds. Even if we didn't get full control over the height of the car, I would still be happy enough if the car lifted off the ground when you started it. Since this has been such a highly requested thing from the Forza community, I'm almost certain we will see it set in the next Horizon. We see the hype outside, right from the house, uh. Another highly requested feature from the Forza Horizon 4 community is the ability to add stickers on your car through the vinyl editor. Since games like Need for Speed Heat have already included this into their game, there's no reason why Forza can't have it in Horizon 5. In fact, fans have been requesting this feature ever since 2015 when Need for Speed Heat allowed the option to add window stickers. In Horizon 3 and 4, we did get window stickers, however, they only came with specific car packs such as the Hoonigan, and after we bought those, we weren't able to pick where we put the stickers, they were set on that car, we could not put them on any other car. I'm really hoping that we don't see that in Horizon 5, or even if you had to buy the car pack, but you get those window decals that you can put on any other car, I would still be okay with it. Who got ADHD just a- Me and Jordan need a couple hearses. Woo!
Double homicide, kill the beat and a verse. As racing simulators become more and more affordable and more people continue to buy them, some awesome features for people who play in first person would be functional gauges, especially boost gauges, and depending on the size of turbo you have, it would increase or decrease the amount of boost it creates. A feature that would make the drift community really happy is the ability to swap out your wheels for custom designed steering wheels. As well as a variety of seats to choose from, from big brands such as Ricardo or Bride. This is the one feature that I'm sort of skeptical we'll see in Forza Horizon 5 because there's around 450 cars in Horizon 4 and Horizon 5 expected to have roughly the same amount. That's just so much remodeling that the designers of the game will have to do and it seems like way too much work. <laughs> Since exhaust sound can't be changed at all in Forza Horizon 4, an amazing feature in Horizon 5 would be the ability to change the way the exhaust sounds through either a muffler or a full exhaust system. If Forza does choose to include custom exhaust systems from big companies such as Gibson, Corsa, and Borla, it would be a feature that would keep players attached to the game for years. An essential feature for any car game in my opinion is the ability to customize the muffler tips and the way they look. If we look at GTA 5, they had many options where you could put big bore exhausts on different cars, however in Horizon 4 we saw none of that. With the Horizon series leaning towards more of an arcade style game, I'm very surprised that we haven't seen features like this included into the game already. No secret by now that Forza Horizon 4 offers little to no customizations when it came to body kits on our cars. There was only 40 cars that would allow wide body kits, and out of those 40 cars, you had two companies you could pick for, either Rocket Bunny or Liberty Walk. But Forza needs to realize that there are more companies than Rocket Bunny or Liberty Walk. I think the licensing for these big companies is really expensive, and that's why we're only seeing two. So if players were able to make their own body kits, we could recreate the really nice ones we see in real life without Forza needing to pay for that expensive licensing, and we would also get to download as many as we want, so there'd be no limit to what we could put on our car. A huge must if Forza is going to be set in Japan is to include some giant mounds where we can have huge mountain passes and cruise on those all day long. With so much of the Forza community doing drifting, this would be the perfect spot to include drifting areas. Another feature that we've been missing in all the horizons is a bridge that crosses over water that you can actually drive on. Thank you guys so much for watching, that's my top 10 list of things I'm hoping to see in Horizon 5. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button as I'm trying to hit 300 subscribers by the end of next week.